God is crowning you the dawn of this new era. Now, what do I mean by the dawn? The dawn is a title. It's a verb. Most of y'all have heard this as like the head of a mafia family, right? It's also a person of great importance, a powerful leader. It's derived from the Latin dominus, a master of a household. This is the position that you're being put in. You're being put at the head of the table. You will be in charge of the empire, of the family. You're going to be making offers that people can't refuse. This is the power that you will be given. And how you handle it will determine how the next few generations get to move and operate on this planet. This position is so high ranked that not many people on earth get to sit in this spot. It is important. It is huge. And many, many people hinge on you doing the right thing. So we're going to be getting into these vibes to see why you in this position what it is that you need to be doing and how we pushing the next few generations forward. What we got? Oh, the magician. Come on now, it's time to use your magic. You got extra special powers. Whatever it is you was given, you're going to have to do it. Like do it, do it times 10. Pedal to the metal. It's drive time. It's go time. Okay, now, what did I tell you? I said you got some extra special, you in a position so rare that not many people on this earth get to sit in this spot. Numero uno, mag magician is number one. Okay, so you're going to be the first. You're not going to be the last, but you will be the first. Many will come after you, but it's all about using your magic, mixing up all of your elements okay you see the people in this picture if you notice the writing and the smoke coming from their paper that's that magic that's that fire you talking they writing they implementing you know how to delegate responsibilities you know what to do what potions and lotions to mix up you got the secret sauce you got the juice you got the magic touch it's on you no pressure the magician is sure abracadabra they know the rabbit is coming out the hat no question okay let's see what's going on behind the scenes you are the dawn of a new era what is it that you need to know that you can't see right now oh the hair fine i mean that's kind of a given maybe you can't see it right now but it's a given so this is you in your your later years. It's interesting because um, the other day I was saying I'm almost old enough to be like, you know, oh, beloved and like, oh, my babies, you know, like Monique and Ayanla, like we're going to be the next generation. Like somebody is going to be the next generation of 50 year olds. And then we're going to be the next generation of however old Kamala Harris is, you know, we're next for those type of positions. So what you may not see right now, this hierophant type energy is, yeah, you fit for one of them positions. I just gave you some big names, right? And so you are moving towards the head of the table. Let's say some of y'all sitting at the side of the table right now. You're the one taking the notes and stuff. This is showing you the progression of where you're going. You may be on the sidelines. You may be off to the side. You know, all the puns right there. But when you get in the game, when coach throw you in the game, you're going to be moving up rather quickly. What you also don't know is that you already schooling people. Behind the scenes, there are people taking notes like this, and you don't even know. You in the office all your own. You at the head of your own family table. And what you don't know is maybe there are even people and scientists. I'm saying them as, you know, they, they kind of robotic. It's like it's people and the scientists and studies and all kind of stuff going on for people like you. Right. We are coming from, I want to say the stars, man. And there are groups of people like who are the, who is this new wave of people coming in with this new information, building these new things. Uh, they're using a the new technology. All of this information is coming and flowing through them. Let's watch. Let's see how it changes the energetic vibrations. 
let's write it down. For some of y'all, let's start siphoning their energy. Okay? However it's happening in your world, it is something to be seen. It is something to be studied. In a little while, you will be studied. You know how they break down Picasso, Beethoven, Van Gogh, like they break down the science behind the mind of the creator of those innovative pieces. People go to the events, the exhibits, right? They're going to have exhibits dedicated to you. Let's see what we have in the good position. What's good for you? And I, I feel somebody out there like, they don't do that for people like me. And I'm just thinking about uh, how they had that Tupac exhibit. And it's like, yeah. So I get Tupac is a big name, but he also came and got it out the mud. You know, he started from somewhere small and then got to the head of the table. So much so to the point where even when he's gone, the legacy lives on. You feel me? So let's see what we have in the high vibrational. What's good about all this? Oh, the nine of cups. The dreams come with it. I believe in the last set of readings, we had this card come up at some point. And the nine of cups is all about not just the money, but the emotional fulfillment. The whole family straight. The whole community is put together, right? You left a legacy for your grandchildren's great-grandchildren, right? Their dreams are coming true, okay? They're emotionally fulfilled. They understand that they have to walk in their purpose, right? And then the financial burdens and anything that would have come their way is kind of like you stood in the gap and you, and you blocked all of it. And so now they get to cross over. It's kind of like you're building a bridge. Let's say for... um. I'm seeing it like you see that body of water. Let's say for the longest, nobody knew what it was like to get to the other side. But then you, some way, somehow, with your magic, you build a bridge. And now they don't have to swim. They don't have to get a boat. They don't have to fight against currents. They can smoothly go over to the other side, right? And you did that. So this Nine of Cups is talking about before you leave this earth, you're going to re reap all of the benefits of the, of the treasure that you helped to create. Okay. And for somebody, somebody, you need to know your magic is working. Whether you see it or not, in a little while, this treasure chest is going to wash to the shore. It's going to wash up on this shore and you're going to get to see the, the benefits of your magic. You know, you're going to get to show and prove what happens when you believe people are going to get to see, man, what I thought for them isn't the ultimate decision of what's going to happen in their life. Maybe I need to think about myself and think about what I'm going to do instead of being worried about what the dawn is doing because I'm not in that seat. You dig? So you're going to have people looking at you like, well, you know what? If you're going to sit at the head of the table and make decisions and manifest like that, let me just get out your way. You know what I mean? Let me sit back and take notes. You know what I mean? Let's see what's on the low vibrational end, what you need to watch out for. Oh, the Ten of Swords. Well, you got someone who might try to step in that way. Like, nah, hold on, wait, wait a minute now. I can't let you be the dawn. Listen, I know God chose you, but I didn't approve. <laughs> Somebody like, I didn't approve of God's decision, so I will be coming in and making some changes. <laughs> or so they think. Ten of swords, that means right now it's not necessarily over in terms of um, the culprit of mischief being caught exposed and put out there's still some element of somebody want to play some games somebody want to play on your name ten of swords is saying eventually it's going to be over with they're going to have to sit down and be like you know what let me let you be the dawn because i couldn't sit in that seat right somebody don't have the ability to sit in that seat but they think they do and so they want to try to remove you from that head of the table position, whatever that means to you in your life. Okay. It could be somebody think, Ooh, I can run your family better than you trying to take your spot. Ooh, I can run your company better than you take your spot. Ooh, you ain't a good cuz and I'm gonna take your spot. Whatever the case may be, somebody trying to remove you out that seat that God put you in. And right now they still maybe don't quite understand that that's not, that's not what's going to happen. Eventually. Because like I, I keep getting it again. Well, if you're going to manifest like that, then I might as well just sit down. 
Because you're about to do something so big, so grand, or the things are going to unfold in such a magical way that somebody's going to be like, wait a minute, I know. let me just be real with myself. I know I can't do that. You can pretend, shuck and jive, smoke and mirror all you want. But this next move is God given only. And God didn't give it to them. So they're going to have to, they're going to have to let it go. Okay. Let you work your magic. Get out the way. I mean, we can all live in a magical world if you move out the way. Let's see what we have next seven days as it pertains to this energy. Oh, the temperance card. Having that peace, that self-control, and watch this, setting the tone. The temperance card is all about getting that energetic vibe set. Like kind of almost in a way setting the pace, right? This is how things are done. Also, with this new level of magic and all of these blessings that are coming in with the new position that God has given you, of course, it's going to come with angelic assistance. It's going to come with, as I'll be telling y'all, God got to protect his investment. So it's coming with more protection. Okay. Also, I just heard angelic whispers. Some of you guys are about to get secrets and information so you can continuously push things forward. All right. This next phase is all about forward progression. Ask yourself with anything you consume, anything you watch, you hear, anything that you uh, interact with, engage with, ask yourself, how is this pushing me forward? And if it's not pushing you forward, it's probably not for you. Okay. Forward progression and evolution are your keys during this time. And if you've been doing that, this is the reason why God is making you the dawn of the new era. Okay. So keep going forward with your innovations, no matter how crazy, no matter how big or wild they may be, keep pushing forward. Okay. I'm gonna pull from the bottom of the deck. I just got this inkling. I just want to turn this deck over. Oh, the queen of coins. Now I say, I say emotional fulfillment, your dreams coming true. I said, you the leader of this, you the dawn of a new era. Did I tell you, you're going to get a bag? Did I say that? I might've said it already, but this is also, again, positioning queen status. Fellas, you know how it go. Take how to apply king status, but it's of royalty, right? Your royal cosmic heritage, your royal cosmic inheritance is coming through very much so nine of cups okay inheritance type energy so it's not just your dreams it's not just your good vibrations this has been generations coming and just as many generations as it took for you to be the one for it to finally reach the one who was going to bring the prophecy to fulfillment. This is just how many generations it's going to last after you're gone. Okay. So grand opening, grand closing, baby. It's all about you. Congratulations. You are the dawn of a new era. All right. So thank y'all for listening. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel. Make sure you head on over to waterstarvibes.com. I am so out of the deck currently, but I will have a new batch coming in soon. But in the meantime, y'all can grab some stickers or something. Until next time, y'all be cool. And I'll see y'all in the next video.